Hey guys, welcome back. If you're coming straight to this video from the Flawless Foundation application, then you're in the right place. This video here is to show you how to properly highlight and set your face to get you ready and set for a little or a lot of contouring. But if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you guys will get the notification. Other than that, let's go ahead and highlight this face. So what you want to do is you want to take your favorite concealer and the concealer that I'm using is the match for the Urban Decay. This one here is the All Nighter Concealer and I have the shade Dark Warm here. So what you want to do is you want to take that and you want to go in by the nose and bring it down some. And you want to kind of spread it out this way. You don't want to go past your eyebrow, to be honest. You want to just sit that there, like that. And this foundation here is a full coverage, so you have no problem worrying about going over it again. You want to apply that like so and some right here. And you wanna kind of work in sections because this concealer here is very drying. So you wanna go ahead and blend this out first before you apply anything else because this one will dry and you will be highly upset. So you wanna go ahead and take your beauty sponge and you wanna to start to blend that out. You want to kind of look up so you can definitely get way up under that eye. Usually you see people going like this because it stretches the face out and it allows you to get up under your eye a lot more. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna take that same sponge that you use for your foundation and you wanna blend around the edges. And what this does is it allows the foundation to basically mix in with this concealer and kinda of like fade it out, as you guys can see. You can kind of go over it a little bit. Like so. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back. So next you wanna apply some here. And you wanna get that nose. And you wanna get the forehead. You don't necessarily have to highlight your forehead if you have such a huge forehead because what this does is it brings a section of your face out more. As you can see, this right here is glowing a little bit more than everything else. So you want to go ahead and blend that out. And then you want to take your foundation sponge and go around the edges.
Okay, so the next step, what you want to do is take the same beauty sponge that you use to blend out your concealer and you want to make sure you get out every crease under your eye, forehead, wherever you might be creasing at. You want to go ahead and make sure all those creases are out before you set your under eye or your highlight. So I went ahead and made sure I got my creases out. Now I'm going to dip in my Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to just set. As you guys can see, I didn't go in with so much powder. Like I didn't coat the sponge so much. And sometimes that can ruin a lot for you. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, so I'm gonna also take a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way powder and I'm gonna go under that as well. And I always blow the excess off so it's not so like thick. You don't have to use two powders if you don't want to or if you don't have. I just do that because I love the way both of these two powders blend together and how it gives me that nice finish or whatnot. But you don't have to do this. This is just the extra step that I like to do. Okay, there you have it. And then I'm gonna take a color powder and I'm going to just set that around my mouth. Okay, so here we are looking like ghosts. Buster. Don't be afraid of this step here. Most people get to the step and get afraid like, oh, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna take this powder away? How am I gonna do such and such and blah, blah, blah. And in the next step, I'm gonna show you exactly how you're gonna do that. So in the process, you wanna kinda let this bake and let this sit or whatnot while you move on to something else. Like I could, you know, go on into my eyebrows or whatnot. I can start getting my flicky eyebrows on, which today we're not gonna do that. We're just focused on the face. So after you've highlighted and set your face, I call it wake and bake. So after you've waked and baked, all you have to do is have a very compact powder that is maybe your skin shade or something a little bit lighter or whatnot to basically dust everything off and blend everything in. So the powder that I use is the Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade Deep Ebony. And that's number 60 and I have my Morphe E58 brush here which you guys are probably familiar with Alyssa Ashley she got me on to this brush I was kind of using the Sephora micro smooth a for a little minute but I feel like the shade that I have was not the shade for me so yeah that's why I haven't been using that so much but she definitely got me on to using this brush and I've been more excited to actually use this powder ever since I found out that she's been using it. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and get some of that and you wanna just start dusting everything out. And what this does is it brings color back into your face and it kinda of blends everything, any harsh lines or whatnot, it will blend those right out. You guys can do this step either before or after your contour. It's just that if you're really good at contouring 
and not looking like really sharp and harsh or whatnot, then you can do your contour after you do this step. Or you can do it before, like I'm doing. But you see how it just blends everything in so nice and so smooth? So now that we went through with the flawless foundation application and then we waked and baked and also brought the color back into our face, now what you can do is you can take one of your favorite setting sprays, the one that I love to use, the best setting spray that I've ever used is the Scandinavia Oil Control Setting Spray by Urban Decay. This here is amazing, like I mean amazing. I have this one here and I also have the Makeup Bridal Spray. This one is more so for like sweat tears and all this extra stuff. And then this one here is more so for like oil control. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my oil control and I'm gonna just spray this application process right here. Then you wanna shake this up and then you wanna go ahead and spray. And yes, I love to drown myself. So now that you've sprayed your face, what you can do is take the sponge here and really press everything into the skin to make everything look really nice, really well, and really blended together. So once you've sprayed your face and your face is now dry and everything, everything looks flawless and in place, everything looks well blended or whatnot, you are ready for the next step. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so every time I post a new video, you guys will get the notification. To further notice, I'll catch you guys in my next video where I'll show you guys how to contour and finish the flawless face application.